so today third unit sorry fourth unit we are going to start microcontroller okay so in the fourth unit you will be seeing uh, microcontroller that is architecture of microcontroller uh, special function register sfr input of the input addressing mode and assembly language programming so the, these are the topics we will cover in the microcontroller okay fourth unit so fifth unit part is interfacing interfacing of microcontroller okay uh first you are going to see the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller so what is the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller any idea i think uh, in the first class itself i had explained detailly about the microprocessor and microprocessor uh, microcontroller any one answer me what is the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller Let's start. So starting from that, I have seen the world of इधर और पॉइंट सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस सो आई मीन अच्छा एटलीस्ट हैव एनी आईडिया टू से the processor will be separate in the microprocessor the processor will be connected to all peripheral and external devices okay so the external device the external device ram input output be in interface based so peripherals we have to attend to be added externally to the cpu Okay, but in microcontroller, all the peripheral devices like uh, memory device, input output device, interface device, everything, timing circuit, everything will be built in a single chip. Okay, processor and microcontroller. Here, the processor will be the processor IC will be external, but here the um, internally. Okay, everything will be in a chip. That's the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. Now we have so microcontroller the A zero A zero in arithmetic. Ah, A zero in the So here we are going to see the eight-bit microcontroller. That will the uh, memory device will be capable to hold eight-bit data only. One minute.
Okay. So here, uh, it, all the uh, memory device as well as register can be able to hold uh, eight bit data. Okay. Uh, so eight bit uh, arithmetic logic unit is present in your eight zero five one microcontroller accumulator as well as eight bit register. Okay. 8 bit data bus. So, address bus patina 16 bit. Okay. On chip, on chip 9 and in the chip internally, you will be having 18 bytes read uh, random access memory device RAM. And then 4 byte bi directional input output. Okay. So, input output port 4 byte bi directional means you can send as well as receive. Okay. So, both the direction can be used. UART. UART is nothing but I think uh, third unit you have studied. What is UART? Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. Okay, serial port. That is nothing but serial communication port. We'll be transferring the data serially in this port. And then two 16-bit counter and timer. So two counters are available. So that counter can be acted as a timer circuit also. Five interrupt sources. So five interrupt sources is available in your microcontroller A051. So these are the features of microcontroller A051. Next we are going to see the architecture of A051. So in architecture of A051, you will be having the blocks, accumulated block, B register, Program status board, stack pointer, data pointer, program counter, input output ports, serial data buffer, timing and control unit, instruction register, e -pro and program address register, ALU and oscillator. These are the blocks available in the architecture of A051. So one by one we will be seeing here. This is the basic block diagram of A051. So the architecture of age of 51 microcontroller is this one. So we will be seeing this entire talk uh, in uh, next year. But before that, we will be seeing um, this overall block diagram of age of 51. So this is overall block diagram of uh, age of 51. Here you will be having uh, CPU in the chip. You think that you are having all this block in a single chip. Okay, so CPU, I think yeah, you all know what is CPU, Central Processing Unit, that the processing will be done. Okay, this is 8-bit Central Processing Unit, and then uh, on-chip oscillator. Okay, oscillator is used for generating the clock pulse for the uh, entire block to operate in the same frequency or same timing. Okay. Timing uh, will be provided by the clock pulse. So this is nothing but crystal. Okay, crystal oscillator. And then uh, interrupt controller. So here interrupt controller is nothing but five interrupt source will be available. Okay, two uh, external interrupts. Okay, so interrupt is nothing but uh, it will interrupt the uh, process of your CPU to stop the current program and to execute the interrupted uh, program okay for the purpose we will be using the interrupt and then bus control what is bus control it will control the data line and address line and control lines of your system okay and your thing transferring and receiving uh, process will be controlled by your bus control and then on chip uh, read only mem uh, read only memory for program code so rom is used for programming okay so programming code will be available in the read only memory chip okay and then ram random access memory so all the address data okay everything will be stored in the random access memory and then here you are having four input output ports so where you can send the data as well as address to the uh, other device as well as you can receive the data and address to the microcontroller through these ports, four ports, okay, P0 to P3. And then serial port, here you'll be having two pin, one is for transmitting and receiving, 
okay so you can transmit the data in serial manner one by one so bit by bit you can send the data or receive the data from the external device to the memory uh, uh, a051 as well as a051 to A051 to other external device. Okay, here you will be having timer uh, or counter device. Here you will be using two timers timer one, timer sorry, timer zero, timer one. Okay, it can be used as a counter also. Okay, another timer or counter. Okay, so timer now will tell you timing will be provided as well as that is used for counting purposes. Uh, counting purposes to nine. Uh, so while you are running the program, if you want to run the same program uh, for any cases, okay, uh, conditional uh, cases, you have to uh, uh, upload the counter, okay, for counting purpose. Okay, for that use, we will be using the counter. So how many times we have to execute the same program? Will be counted by your counter, and then here you will be having 128 kilobytes of RAM. It is used for storing the data. ROM patina 4 kilobyte, which will be storing the program memory. Uh, and then 21 special function register will be available here. Okay, 21, and then 32 input output serial ports, 64 kilobytes address space for external data memory and then 64 kilobyte address space for program memory is available and then two 16 bit timer controller okay timer 0 1 and then five interrupt sources and then five serial ports okay these are the uh, overall uh, blocks available in the a051 microcontroller okay